Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video about the homework in McGraw-Hill Connect. So once you are registered for McGraw-Hill Connect, you'll click on an assignment and let's say for chapter one and something like this will pop up. So it shows you the due date, it shows you how much time it estimates it'll take you, or in this case I've already started this one so it tells me how much time I have remaining, and it'll tell you how many concepts you need to complete, and it's always going to be 40 concepts. So I've already started this activity so it tells me I've completed two out of 40. So um, I've, you know, got some, some ways to go. So you have two options here. You can continue reading, so you can read the ebook or you can continue questions. So the questions are what is the graded homework. The ebook is not graded. No matter how much time you spend in the ebook, I don't see that as an instructor and I don't grade you for that. So there's no participation points for that, but please by all means read the textbook. Um, what you're gonna be doing for homework is doing these practice questions. So these practice questions will come up, some of them multiple choice, some of them fill in the blank, some of them select all that apply and it'll ask you to put in an answer. So I'm just gonna throw in an answer, let's say microbiology. It didn't even read the question. Rate your confidence to submit your answer. Well, I have low confidence because I didn't even read the question. And of course I was wrong. So it tells me I'm incorrect and it tells me what the correct engine, what the correct answer is. And it actually would have uh, accepted any one of these three answers. So that's good to know. Um, so you'll keep doing this. So if you get the answer wrong, you don't really, you don't get any credit for that. You don't get penalized for it either. So your goal is to fill up all of these little tick marks up here, these little tubes, if you will. And each time you get a, a question, uh, so there's 40 different concepts that it's reviewing with you. And each time you get one of those concepts questions right, you get half of a tube filled. So if you get two questions and a concept right, you've completed that concept. So if you get all every question right, like if you are super on top of things and you know all of the answers and you have high confidence, then you'll get 80 questions and you'll be done. If you are not super confident and you get a lot of wrong, you'll be given more questions. So you may end up going through 100, 150 questions in order to get 80 of them correct so you can complete these concepts. The purpose of this homework is practice. It's like virtual flashcards almost. So repeatedly showing you this information, it's adaptive. So part of the reason it asks you to score your answer, um, it says select a concept resource to continue. So it's not even letting me continue because I'm getting them wrong. It says before moving on, you must review a resource. So I can check the book. Maybe I'll read about it a little bit and then go back. And now it'll give me more questions. Okay, so um, as you get these right, you'll start filling in these bars. As you get them wrong, it may refer you to go back to the textbook. You can check the textbook at any time by checking this little reading thing here. So you can essentially look up the answers to all of these questions. I do try to discourage students from doing that too much. Um, because I think it is not quite as good of a learning exercise when you do it that way. Um, but certainly for fill in the blank ones, those are a bit more challenging and even for spelling and whatnot. But really do try to challenge your brain to recall the information rather than just looking up every answer. It'll take you longer if you try to look it up. And also it, it's just not as good mental exercise. So these are always due the day after that lecture um, in class. So hopefully it will be review for you at the time that you are completing it. You don't have to complete it all in one sitting. You can walk away and come back. It will save your progress. So you don't have to worry about doing it all in one sitting. And in fact, I encourage you not to do it all in one sitting. And um, lastly, you don't need to submit anything to me. So I have access to the Connect Gradebook. I can see each student's completion progress of the assignment. So whatever you see up here is what I will see on my end. So if you see 40 out of 40 concepts completed, you got 100% on your homework and you are done. You can continue, you can do it over and over again. It, it'll give you the option to recharge, which means um, just basically do some more questions for your own review or practice, but it won't change your grade in my grade book. So feel free to recharge if you want. And that's all. Uh, if you have other questions, you know where to find me.